A person's vision is the most important way in which they experience the world. Neovascular age-related macular degeneration, or wet AMD, is a chronic, rapidly progressive disease which leads to distorted vision, central vision loss, and sometimes visual disability for the patient. In its advanced active phase, wet AMD is characterized by structural and biochemical components. Current thinking on the pathophysiology of the disease links an angiogenic process to multiple etiologic factors. Resulting oxidative stress in the RPE leads to an inflammatory response in Brooks' membrane and the choroid. This triggers the release of pro-angiogenic stimuli and the formation of the choroidal neovascular membrane, or CNV, in the retinal space. Leakage of these new vessels causes displacement of the overlying photosensitive structures, leading to distorted vision and ultimately retinal cell dysfunction. Current treatments for CNV may target the pathophysiologic aspects of the disease. Visudine, veritaporfin, is a light-activated, angio-occlusive agent comprised of an equal mixture of two equally active benzoporfin derivative monoacid regioisomers. The first step of the treatment is a 10-minute intravenous infusion of Visudine. Once it has entered the bloodstream, the drug begins to bind to low-density lipoproteins, or LDLs. This process continues as the drug spreads throughout the body. In the choroidal neovasculature within the lesion, the LDL receptors expressed by the growing endothelial cells attract, bind with, and absorb visudine-infused LDLs. These pathologic cells express up to a tenfold increase in LDL receptors compared to normal vessels, which may explain the selective affinity of visudine to this neovasculature. Additional LDLs continue to circulate until nearly all of these endothelial cells have become saturated with visudine. The second step of photodynamic therapy with visudine is the activation of the drug within the identified neovasculature. Using a low energy laser with a wavelength of 689 nanometers, a beam bathes the entire lesion in laser light. The light of this wavelength can penetrate blood, subretinal fluid, or fibrotic tissue. This allows photoactivation of visudine in the underlying CNV lesion. Energy from the laser activates visudine inside the endothelial cells. As this energy from visudine is transferred to oxygen, highly reactive short-lived singlet oxygen and radicals are generated. These oxygen species cause cytoskeletal changes. The affected endothelial cells round and contract, disrupting the intercellular junctions. This exposes the subendothelial basement membrane, triggering the release of various clotting factors, which leads to platelet activation. The platelets adhere to the collagen of the exposed membrane and quickly line the entire inner surface of the vessel. Accumulation of the platelets, formation of fibrin clots, and vasoconstriction finally drive the vessel occlusion. This angio-occlusive process may selectively destroy neovascular choroidal vessels while minimizing the risk of damage to the overlying retinal cells. This angio-occlusive mechanism of action can be observed as a result of the research by scientists in Lausanne, Switzerland who developed an innovative laboratory technique. A near real-time view of these angio-occlusive effects are displayed shortly after injecting visudine into the vasculature of a chorioallantoic membrane, or CAM, of a gestating chicken egg. When observed through a low-light fluorescence microscope, the effects of a precise light dose applied within the CAM show strong structural similarities compared to those observed in the human eye during clinical trials. Here we observe in close-up the beginning of a buildup of platelets at the junction of a vessel and a smaller capillary within the cam, seconds after the activation of visudine by the light. At approximately seven minutes after light application, 
we can observe the continued buildup of platelets at the junction, although blood continues to flow through both the vessel and the capillary. At approximately 15 minutes after light activation, the capillary has completely occluded, showing no blood flow, whilst the vessel continues to allow the passage of blood. Using a wider view, the CAM model also shows the vasoconstrictive effect of visudine therapy. Here we observe in near real-time photography the gradual constriction and closure of the vessels within the CAM. Through its selective angio-occlusive mechanism of action, visudine therapy is a unique method to tackle the structural component of a CNV lesion and is a critical element in increasing the likelihood of a durable treatment outcome for wet AMD.